Hi there, my name is Belinda Dovston and welcome to the I Ching Cafe for our weekly overview for the week commencing the 18th of May 2020. So how was your week last week? We had revolution, going for it, permission to break through and to make decisions and really get into a totally new way of thinking, living and being. So share with us your thoughts below on how last week was for you. Right, so this week, let's have a look. Well, there is certainly a foot on the gas pedal because there is action this week. We have our first hexagram for the week. What we are asked to pay attention to as a theme for this week is hexagram 42, increase. Now, the symbol I want you to think about when we think about it, increase is you're going along a river, right? There you are paddling. And up ahead, you see a section of rapids. And there's two choices. If you are fearful and you want to wait it out, you can paddle to the side and pick up your kayak or your canoe and go the long way around. Or you can say, woohoo, right, let's accelerate. And you go into the rapids and you paddle like crazy and you get through it and you accelerate through a massive movement forward. This is what this week is calling us to do. Not to pick up the canoe <laughs> and take the long, laborious, safe route around the rapids, but to throw ourselves into it. Because this week is full of blessings. Increase is about an acceleration of good things, of opportunities, of movement forward, of development. Now, we have had decrease recently, and we've had it quite often. And decrease is making the sacrifice, letting go, cutting back to get to the bare bones. This is the exact opposite. This is blessings coming to us that we need to reach out and seize. So this week, what we're being asked to pay attention to is to throw ourselves into service, into giving, put energy in, throw ourselves into whatever we're doing, increase our energy, pour it in, and receive all the blessings that come as a result. So lots of wonderful opportunities this week. But we have to be willing to throw ourselves into those rapids and take advantage of this moment because this hexagram brings us the opportunity to leapfrog. But we have to be willing to put in the effort and throw ourselves into what we're doing. So let the week consume you. Throw yourself into that river. Go for it because there's wonderful blessings that can be activated for us. Take the opportunity, because now is the time. There are two changing lines. The first one is go, go, go. It's all about that this opportunity has come, this blessing has come, lean into it, give it, work with it, go for it. A new arrival of a new opportunity, a new blessing that you should seize upon. Now, the second changing line is a little bit tougher, and there's two legs of this changing line. So I'm going to focus our attention on this. Overriding message, increase, blessings, throw yourself into the river, go for it, an opportunity of a lifetime to activate this week. Changing line in the sixth position, our second one for this week, has two meanings. Two parallel concepts we need to work with this week. The first is that if blessings come to us, perhaps not necessarily in the packaging that we had anticipated, and we don't take the blessing and take it and acknowledge it and work with it, we are deaf to the blessing coming, and we turn perhaps away from that blessing, trouble comes. So I would encourage you to see blessings around you this week, to pay attention to where the help is coming from, and seeing that blessing for what it is and not turning your nose up at whatever the blessing is that comes in through the door. There's something that's coming to help you, to bless you, to bring light into your life, into your business. Grasp it and work with it. The second part of this line that I'd like to share with you is some commentary from Confucius himself on this line. And he says that because this line's in the top, this is the superior person, this is the master of our being, right? This is the best that we can possibly be in this moment of increase. 
is that we do not use our increase to decrease others, right? We think about this moment of increase in opportunity and blessing, and we do think about others. And he says there are three things. The superior person, the master, pauses before movement. He or she is silent before he or she speaks. And he or she builds relationships before you ask for something from others in return. Now, this is wisdom. No matter who we are, <laughs> that is highly relevant. But this week for us, maybe you're just getting advice of not decreasing others when you get the blessing. Think about others and how your blessing might be decreasing others and just be conscious of that. So that might be one avenue. This avenue might be something that you're working with or maybe both. But this particular one says that in this week, think about before you act, have you paused and considered your action? Before you speak, have you been silent to really focus on what it is that you want to say? Not just bleh, <laughs> to the other person. Just pause and make sure that's the right thing to say. And then the third aspect is be wary of trying to ask things from somebody when you haven't invested in that thing, relationship or that person. A very wise friend of mine, who's probably listening or watching, once said to me, in relationships, you have to make deposits before you can make withdrawals. And I really feel like I wanted to share that with you this week because think about where we are engaging with others. Maybe this is on a business level or on a personal level. We pause before we move. Are we silent before we speak? And have we made deposits before we ask for withdrawals? So in business, for example, are we asking things from our network, from our team, from the people around us that we haven't yet put in. And this particular changing line says, if we are doing that, if we are loud and nonsense is coming out our mouth, if we are hasty and being premature in our actions, and if we are demanding things from people around us that we haven't a right to demand, we find ourselves isolated and alone. So this is the warning for this week, is how to avoid that. And then the outcome for this week is hexagram eight called Holding Together. And this is a hexagram that explains that we need to rethink and reflect on how we group with others, the groups that we belong to and how we connect and group with others. And what is the unifying purpose that holds those groups together? So this week, as much as we're going through this increase, what's also going to become apparent to us are areas where we need to strengthen our unity as a group. Perhaps this is a spiritual group, a work group, your personal groups, not necessarily family, more about connections you've made with others around a central purpose. What groups are good for me? Which ones do I perhaps need to let go of? And what is the underlying principle that holds us together? So I'd really encourage you to think about the groups you are connected to and your business is connected to, and are they still serving the purpose for which they were intended? Are you contributing what you need to those groups and are they the right connections for you at this time? So who are we grouped with? Rethinking our groups, reconnecting with the groups that are meaningful and important to us at this time. It's an interesting busy week for us. So focus on that increase. Remember to be the superior person in how we engage with increase and how we share that wealth. Increase is all about how we share and deal that out the bounty that has come to us through our employees, through our team, through our efforts collectively, how we share that. Thank you so much for being with me today. Please, if this was valuable to you, please like and share and subscribe and all that stuff. You know what to do. And we'll see you soon at our next weekly overview.